Good morning, good morning. Um, I have... <laughs> I'm a little tired today because we had an insane night of storms and I was woken up at 5 o'clock in the morning by one and didn't get back to sleep until about an hour later. I think she was awake too. Hi. It was, uh, it was pretty much raining nearly all night, but we had about two bouts of storm. And one was at five and the other one was before I went to sleep while I was working. We seemed to have a pretty, like it picked up speed, like pretty crazily. I called my mom and I was like, I'm not in the middle of a tornado, am I? Like I haven't gotten a notice, but just want to make sure. Um, anyway, it is 11.03. I have just finished uh, doing something for work that I did not do last night because I was like, I'll do that in the morning. So just uploading those what's new Epcot photos for the other site because um, I had already worked an hour and 45 minutes over last night. So I was like, no, I'm not doing that D last night. I did it this morning. Um, so I spent about 45 minutes doing that, talked to my mom on the phone, said hello. I have spotted another cat outside, but that cat is very much afraid of me. Um, it's a black and white cat, mostly black, but has like a little tuft of white. Um, it was over near my neighbor's house and it ran away when it saw me. So probably won't ever see it again. I have yet to see salt or pepper this morning. Um, at least not like I haven't seen them. They might've gone out there, but I just may not know. Um, I am about to get started on writing the second act of, uh, the script. I'm excited. Um, since I hope she'll stay calm for me and not want to play so I can write. <laughs> Crossing my fingers. Okay, it is 1.37. I am most of the way, well, a little over halfway through the act, uh, second act, but I am actually going to pause and clean up the house a little bit because we're getting to the part of the day where Nola will usually sleep and a lot of times she wants to sit on my lap and sleep and so if she were to do that until my friends come over, I wouldn't want the house to still be a mess. So I'm gonna clean up a little bit and then return to the script. So it is 4.04. Um, I finished the second act. I probably finished it probably around 10 minutes ago. Um, we're at 38 pages, which is good. That's good because they really wanted to end up probably no more than like 55 pages instead of 60. So on the right track with that. In fact, I think it'll land more about 52, 53 pages, um, which will be nice because I think that's what they're looking for. Um, I personally feel like I am definitely improving it from what it was. Um, I, I definitely feel... Um, we understand the characters better. Um, we get to we get to know them for who they are better. The story has a little bit more of a through line. Um, I think the dialogue is more believable. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm enjoying it so far. Um, this was the largest act, of course. Act two typically is. How in the world? Sorry. How did I? Okay, I'm a little concerned with this because it tells me I hit my stand goal for the day, which is six hours, and I have not even been close, no, not even close. So I'm a little worried that, like, my heart rate or something shows that I'm standing when I'm not. So the black and white cat has actually come up to my porch. I actually just stood up because I was like, I thought it was Pepper outside, um... Because the cat sounded like it needed help. It sounded like it was scared. And then it saw me through the window and it took off. <laughs> but it was on my porch. So now we've got three. Although that one is way scared of me. Also, Pepper really only does come out at night. Which is really interesting. I got to see my friends. It was great to see them. Um, I know Hannah watches these sometimes. But I didn't want to spend the time, you know, uh, vlogging when, it, you know, it didn't spend time with them. I've got about an hour before I start work because it is 6.58 and I start at eight tonight. I work eight till 11. 
So they also brought me the kindest welcome or like home basket. Oh my gosh. So I don't think I even showed it. Ooh, I don't think I even showed it on here, but my random number generator, I put the first book in that series back on the shelf. I put it, it's got a bookmark in where I left it off, but I'm just gonna leave that for the next time the random number generator decides that I should come back to it. But the one that I picked up was actually one of the books that my Nana passed down to me and it was really, really short. It's like 64 pages called Snowflake. Um, so I read that before the friends came over. Um, and now the random number generator has told me that it is time to reread the Harry Potter series, but I now have the fifth book as an illustrated edition. So I will get to cross that off my thing here and mark that as read once I get there. So I'm gonna go grab the illustrated edition of Sorcerer's Stone and read that for the 30 minutes before I start it's work. It's 11 16. I just finished work. Um, I also actually scheduled myself a COVID booster for tomorrow because I got my last one in September. Um, and I think they're actually recommending every four months for everyone now. Um, regardless, well, actually, I know that they are because they, the CVS thing told me that I was eligible even before I had written down that I was potentially immune compromised. So I think they are recommending. So in case you don't know, four months. So if it's been four months, you should go get another one. So um, the CVS that's really close to me, surprisingly, actually, well, I shouldn't say surprisingly, as of like December 3rd, because they are like one of the health hub locations, but since like December 3rd, they, I guess, don't have any doctors or whatever that are working there. So it's been closed since then. So I decided to go a little bit closer to where I used to live, which is not, not, I mean, where I grew up. I get a little bit closer to where I grew up um, because that's not super far. And I figure I might be able to, um, my friends, well, they gave me a really, I think I showed it on here, a really, really sweet, um, housewarming like basket. Um, anyway, so I plan to go to that CVS. I also need to pick up, I want to pick up some batteries from CVS and I need to pick up my prescription, but my prescription needs to be picked up at this CVS here. So my plan is though, is to call this CVS in the morning and say, hi, I just wanna make sure you have that because I never got a confirmation from you guys, but you should have it because I'm expecting them to say, oh no, we don't have it. Let us make sure we can get it and we'll fill it for you. And then hopefully it'll be filled by the time I go to the other CVS, get my shot. Um, and I figure too, because I have a headshot session scheduled for, um, one or two I think it's 1 p.m on Friday but considering fortunately the only side effect that I've had from the vaccine has been like an hour of like random chills my hope is that since I'm getting the shot at 10 o'clock in the morning that I will have that reaction not at night and actually have it in the evening instead um I don't know if it'll work out that way. Uh, the times that it has hit me, it has hit me at night for some reason and like while I'm sleeping, which is weird. Um, but I think the other times I got them, I got them later. I got them later in the day. I don't think I've gotten it as early as 10 before. So I'm crossing my fingers that timing works out. Plus I'll come home, I'll write the last act of the script. So that'll be out of the way so I can just chill. The rest of the day and then definitely over 24 hours later when I do my headshots I should be totally fine um but yes I figure it was worth it um since I've got some stuff coming up that I want to make sure I'm you know as protective protected as can be against you know going back to to work next week at the bakery just being around everyone and um all that stuff just want to make sure I'm as protected as possible so that's very important um but yes I'm gonna go to bed so thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. All my social media is in the description. Love you all.